when I was born in 1970, my family lived in this house upstairs. And about two or three years ago, I took the house after it had become empty and abandoned and made it into the Tuxedo Project, uh, which is a literary arts and community center where a lot of you have uh, interacted a lot with us over that time. We got together last weekend to talk with neighbors at the Tuxedo Project near Livernois, Grand River, and the Jeffries Freeway on Detroit's west side. I would like to start with, with people talking about things that they like about our neighborhood, about our neighbors. Go ahead. The kids, that's my main concern, but the children around here, everybody looks out for them. Everybody tends to everybody's kids. It's like one little family. Conversation moved on to complaints that you hear all across the city. Abandoned homes, illegal dumping, gunshots, wild dogs, and drag racing. And I'm trying, they don't even stop. They blow right through the stop sign. But change is coming to our neighborhood. Back in March, the Carpenters and Millwrights Union announced it would build a $30 million training center at the end of our block where Tappan Middle School once stood. The center promises to train Detroiters in skilled trades, part of a commitment to get Detroiters involved in the local construction boom. You're going to have a lot of folks who need to go to work. we got enough work for the next five or ten years. We need to be training Detroiters to do it. Our training center will feature some of the most advanced tools and techniques in the construction industry. And because we want the center to be a hub for this neighborhood, it will also have space for community events open to local families and local businesses. Groundbreaking is planned for spring next year, a dramatic turn for a neighborhood that hasn't seen significant investment in more than four decades. They're going to do a lot of things that we ask them to do, and what we're going to start meeting about with them in two weeks is what we want. Would probably be a pretty decent idea is maybe to use a portion of that space down there to put up uh, some type of complex for uh, low-income senior things. Talking about housing. Mm -hmm. yeah. It could be like maybe 20 units, 30 units, something small like that. Or. Or we could take some of the lots and the houses that they want to tear down and turn them into, yeah. into yeah. senior housing. Yeah. If they're, if, yeah, that sounds good. So does anyone have concerns about what's happening down the street? You know, when you build something in a community, a lot of stuff can change. Some stuff that's going to change we, we will like, but maybe there'll be some stuff we don't like. Property taxes, what happens with that? Uh -huh. uh, that's a great question, right? I don't know. Uh, if you build an expensive training center down the street, does that change the the assessments maybe for people in the neighborhood? It might. Those are for the homeowners. The homeowners got to pay higher taxes, which means the renters have to have more. to pay more rent, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's how that goes. How do we plan for what's ahead? Our challenge is to be sure that our neighbors and our neighborhood are ready for the change and the opportunity. I think the community center is going to be an excellent idea. I do. I'm hoping, I'm praying for it. I, I am. I'm hoping it. I'm, I am. Golly, I am.